What's good YouTube? It's your boy SSB and Pluto back at it with another video. Uh, today I'm coming at you guys with a new type of video. Uh, I haven't really done a commentary type video in a minute. But uh, I just hit 50 subscribers so I want to do a 50 subscriber special with a Renan Stimpy guide since my last video got uh, 1,000 viewers which is my first 1,000 view uh, video so I'm super excited. just wanted to say thank you guys for all of this. It really does mean a lot to me for the uh, all the views and subscribers. I never, I really never thought I'd get here. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that and uh, yeah, let's just get on with the video. Thank you guys once again. Alright, first let's start talking about some of uh, Running Snippy's strengths. Um, I think he's a pretty good brawler. Uh, his projectile isn't the greatest, but I still think he can zone out pretty decently. Um, a lot of his moves hit on both sides, so he's basically always protected. Um, yeah, I think he's pretty decent. I think he's fairly underrated, too. Some of Ren and Snippy's weaknesses is, uh, he's got a big body, so he can be easily comboed. Um, he is a little bit heavier, so I'd say he gets comboed a little bit harder than some of the other characters on the cast. Um, sometimes he can have trouble killing, but I'd say that's most uh, characters, I guess. Um, that's really about it, though. Alright, now let's start off by going over some of their moves, starting with the light attacks on the ground. Uh, first off we have Jab, uh, not too bad of a move, you can hold it to use this, uh, I'd say the first move is probably the best because you can use it to kind of poke. Um, the Rapid Jab isn't bad because I think it's good on shield to try to, I guess, hit opponents if they try to shield grab or act out of shield. Um, next is Down Tilt, this is a very fast move and as you can see, I'll turn on the hitbox, this is a huge hitbox. It's that basically that entire circle. It is very big and uh, it can be used to combo into certain things which I'll go over in the combo section. Um, next is up tilt. Uh, it's pretty good. It's basically like everybody else's up tilt. Uh, not too bad, not too good. Uh, same trajectory as basically everybody else. Now moving on to strong moves on. Now moving on to strong moves on the ground. Uh, first off, we have neutral strong, which is this big old eye poke. Uh, it's a lot bigger range than it looks. Actually, it's actually the entire eye, which is pretty nice. And also, Ren on the back has a hitbox. Uh, Ren's hitboxes are actually a little bit uh, weaker, but still not too bad. Um, next up, we have down strong. Down strong is a very big move, and I think it's actually really powerful. Uh, I think it's really good at people trying to hit people recovering because it can spike, and I'd say it's good for edge guarding. Next up, we have up smash or up strong. Up strong is a pretty strong move, and it's also good for catching opponents on a uh, on platforms. So it's good on uh, maps like this and the Ninja Turtles map. Now let's go over some of the aerials. Um, starting with Nair and Forward Air, it's a pretty quick move. You can spam it over and over again. Uh, it is fairly good. It has uh, hitboxes on both sides, like most of his moves. Um, it can be used. To, it can be chained into each other at lower percents. Uh, let's see if I can do this. But uh, depending on DI, it can. Uh, it can combo pretty good. Um, up air? Up air is not too bad. Not the biggest hitbox, not the smallest. Um, you can chain them together really good. Falling up air is really good for uh, combos. Good combo starter. Now onto down air. Ren and Snippy's down air is probably their best move. Uh, it can be used to, uh, it can be used to combo into each other I mean you can just use it at zero and combo it all the way over to 60 you know off to the ledge and kill him it's a very strong move it's probably the most used move you're gonna be using in neutral it's a huge hitbox let me show the hitbox it is this entire thing this entire red box which is a lot which is a lot bigger than it looks all right, now let's move on to the uh, aerial strong attacks. Starting off with neutral strong air, 
Uh, it's just like the one on the ground. It's pretty good. I'd say uh, it's a little bit faster than on the ground. You can use it. To, you can fast fall with it, uh, which is it actually catches a lot of opponents, which is good. Uh, moving on to up strong, not too bad. Kind of slow. It is pretty strong. Like you can start chaining in some uh, up airs into uh, uh, up strong, which is pretty good. Uh, moving on to down strong in the air. Uh, turning on hitboxes. There are two different hitboxes. On the way down there's one and then as you land on the ground there is a hitbox all around which is pretty big. Uh, it's a good option for landing but you don't want to spam it too much because it can be a bad habit. Um, moving on to special moves now. Um, up special. Uh, pretty good move. Not the not the greatest for recovery uh, only has a, it does have a hitbox at the bottom but not at the top so you are a uh, victim to uh, edge hogs but his uppy is really good for you know it can kill uh, off stage it's good for killing if you want to edge guard with it um, I've seen reverse edge guards happen with it all the time um, neutral B which is log uh, it's not it's not too bad. I'd say it's best used for uh, edge guarding off stage. So let's say I hit a uh, SpongeBob off and start edge guarding with that. Not the greatest for opponents that uh, recover low, like Leonardo or Michelangelo, but can still be used. Moving on to down special, we have a uh, waft, I guess, uh, which is also a counter. You can counter uh, up to as many hits as you want, I think. The more hits you store, the stronger it gets. Uh, the hitbox is basically as big as it looks. It does come out a little bit later than uh, it appears to be as the animation for the fart comes out and then the hitbox comes out a few frames later. But uh, waft is stored even after you die. So um, at, let's see, let me, let me get a counter real quick. See, now I got it. I have the stars around, I'm gonna fall off and die, but I'm gonna come back and still have the fart, even though it doesn't show that I have any stars, which is something to uh, always remember. Moving on to uh, dash attacks. Uh, normal dash attack isn't too bad at low percent, you can use it to combo into basically anything. Uh, I prefer using strong dash attack, because that's uh, high percent it confirms into a uh, Neutral strong, which is good for a good kill move. Uh, can kill pretty early off stage. I've killed people as low as like 70 on the edge with it. Um, moving on to throws. Up throw is pretty good for combos into up air at low percents. Uh, down throw is pretty good it's for um, leading into dash attacks, which can lead into some, uh, strong attacks. Uh, forward throw also kind of sends the same way as down throw, um, so you can use it to tech chase and you can, I guess, use it for dash attack. You can even tech chase with a uh, waft if you have a fart, which is very powerful. Moving on to combos, uh, Rim and Snippy doesn't have the most combos, but he does have a few combos that help out in his game. Uh, at low percent, you want to start doing like up tilts into up airs, or up airs into up airs into up airs. They can usually chain together. You do want to fast fall the uh, up airs though, after each other, just like that. Uh, down tilt can also combo into a... Uh, down smash afterwards depending on DI and percent. Uh, so like this at ledge you can get combos like that which is really good for killing and gimping and killing really early. Uh, forward air can actually combo into, itself, combo into itself depending on DI. Um, down air combos into itself that's probably your most used move in neutral and also your best combo move just because it's in you can carry off stage. But uh, you want to start, you want to start doing stuff like that. You can kill and uh, just carry them off stage and kill really early with the 
For instance, he does have uh, some waft combos, mostly uh, with uh, falling up air into waft. Uh, this works better around lower percent, um, but you can do stuff like this. And uh, near the ledge, I mean, that was kind of mid stage, I guess close to the right, but it's still killed around like 40%. Uh, at the ledge, this move will kill uh, very early. And that about wraps up the main combos for uh, Ren and Snippy. Moving on to neutral, uh, Ren and Snippy's main game plan, I'd say, is to uh, hit your opponent from a distance since they have such great range. You can, you can basically just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them from a distance. Um, a lot of their moves have disjoint. I mean, I guess not a lot of them, but down air, the main move that you want to be using in neutral has big disjoints. It's such a big hitbox and good spacing tool. Um, you also want to be using a, a bunch of forward airs or nares since they come out and you, so quick and you can spam them back to back. Uh, can kill at high percent and just good for walling out as well. Also, if you're uh, kind of away from the opponent from a distance, you can start throwing logs. Not the greatest tool. Uh, I'd say logs are better for edge guarding, but can work to uh, wall people out in neutral. Also in neutral, for uh, Ren and Stimpy, you want to be using a uh, falling neutral layer, or strong neutral layer. Um, it's a main way you'll be killing. It's a relatively fast move. Uh, you want to fast fall on it though, to uh, make sure you hit the ground as low as possible and to uh, make sure it acts quickly. It will be used a lot um, in neutral to uh, kind of zone out and range out but uh, also will net you some kills later on in the game. Alright moving on to uh, matchups. Uh, I'd say Ren and Stimpy has a decent matchup spread. Uh, struggles against character faster characters that can combo really well, which honestly that's like half of the cast. Um, I'd say he kind of loses to SpongeBob. It may be even though, just because SpongeBob has such a good combo game. Uh, I'd say he beats Patrick just because Patrick isn't the greatest and he's pretty easy to combo. Uh, Sandy's probably evenish. Maybe Sandy favored. Just because of her falling strong nair is really good. Uh, Aang probably wins just because Aang's probably one of the best in the game. Really good combos. Uh, probably beats Toph. Toph is one of the lower tier characters. Probably beats Korra as well. Same reason as Toph. Uh, Lincoln probably wins by a bit just because of his projectiles and ranges on his uh, aerials. Lucy probably wins just because Lucy's combo game is really crazy. Uh, Leo probably really wins just because Leo's range is so good. Even even good against somebody with as much range as uh, Ren and Stimpy. Uh, Michelangelo probably wins. Uh, I won't say as hard as Leonardo does, but still probably wins it by a bit. Uh, April probably wins. Uh, her combos are pretty good. Her camera is really annoying to recover with. Uh, as Ren and Stimpy. Uh, Powder Toastman is probably an even matchup. Maybe Ren and Stimpy favored, uh, but not by too much. Uh, I could see the Zim matchup going either way, honestly. Cat Dog, probably even ish, honestly. Um, maybe Cat Dog favored, just because Cat Dog's probably slightly better. Uh, Reptar, I'd probably say it's Ren and Stimpy favorite, but not by too much. I think uh, Reptar is pretty underrated in this game. Uh, Nigel, I'd say, I'd say Ren and Stimpy probably wins this matchup. Ren and Stimpy probably wins this matchup. Uh, this is probably one of my more unknown uh, matchups for him. I'd say it's more evenish. Maybe it's Danny Phantom's favorite. Uh, I haven't seen too much Danny's. So I can't say too much, but uh, yeah. Oblina definitely wins. I think Oblina has, you know, some of the best combos. Nair is really good. Uh, yeah, you're basically just in disadvantage forever against Oblina. Overall, I think Ren and Snippy is a uh, very fun character to play. Uh, the waffle mechanic is very unique. 
uh, I don't think any other character has a counter type ability in this game. Um, I have a very funny taunt, one of the best in the game in my opinion. Uh, just a fun character to play overall. Not a lot of representation, which is unfortunate. Um, Kirby Kid's probably the best player for this character at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'd really love to see more people start playing Ren and Stimpy. I think he's a lot of fun, really cool. Uh, doesn't have the greatest combos, but has some really cool stuff about him. And uh, yeah, that's been this video on uh, Ren and Stimpy Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope it was informative in some type of way. Uh, once again, thank you guys on 50 subscribers. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, I'm going to try to continue making content Nickelodeon and uh, Melee related here soon. So uh, I really appreciate you guys sticking around for all this. And, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day. Peace. Thank you once again.